Welcome back to the Match Poker .com. Poker Dog Challenge. We're here in downtown Las Vegas. That's our live audience looking on. Five players remaining, and it's been all Michigan. Two chip leaders, both from Michigan, just a couple of miles away from each other. Billy Escher at 92,000, Ed Betzel at 81,000. But the guy that is in serious trouble and will have to move and move quickly is that guy right there. Jim Madisic, 19,000. He's going to be the first act here. I don't have to be funny when you're busted. You can laugh when you bust me. Did you think we will? <laughs> I missed that. Oh, I got it. I got five. Player six. Bowl. Player one bowl. Six. Player six is out. That's all. Yeah, that's a list time. Again, makes the right choice as he has most of the night. Vincent will take this. Uh, king. Uh, good fold then. Well, are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever to hit television? All you have to do is log on to MansionPoker.com. You register, you enter any one of the daily online qualifiers, and you know what? It could be you. Every week, six lucky players from around the world will be flown out here to fabulous downtown Las Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. Log on right now to MansionPoker.com, and you can earn a shot at one million dollars. That guy right there has already earned his shot. One of these five remaining players will go on to our million dollar qualifying table. And the way they're going to get there is by finding the courage to keep pumping it up when they've got position and possibly good cards. Barry, by my count, close to 90% of the time that somebody has raised pre-flop, they have won the pot. You know what? <laughs> no, they're gonna oh, yeah, I mean, let this one go yeah. to Madison with a 6-5. But you know what? He's going to take anything he can get right now. You're back to 60,000. just And now the blinds will go up to 5,000 and 10,000. So even though Madison won that hand, he didn't really gain anything in terms of he's got to act. He's That's pretty hard. He's got a queen 8 here, but Usher, of course, with a king 8. And Vincent, with the ace on the button, raises as he ought to. Matisic already has close to 25% of his chips in the small blind there. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I fold. No cases. He folds. Want to give it to you, too? I'm not sure. We'll say go ahead and take it. And again, first to act. First to make a big move, I should say. Vincent takes it down. And now Vincent is tied for the chip lead with Usher. And the two of them with just a thousand more chips than Betzel. So it's very, very close amongst the three chip leaders. Madison now has the button with a tiny pair of deuces. It's time for him to move all these. He's got to. I'm all in. Yeah. Good luck. Has to do it. I'm sure Usher will challenge him. Yeah. Oh, I see one calls. I see two calls. Hey, look, you've got 10, 10K equity there. Big one. Ace three. Betzel made a very unusual fold there. He only had a five deuce, but it would have only cost him 7,000 more to make this a two on one battle. There are no more deuces for Madison. So he needs some help. Well, Madison That's has the best card. hand right now. Yeah, as long as Usher doesn't improve his ace three, Madison um, is good. On, now, a three, lot of cards nine, there can ten, counterfeit Madison's deuces. A ten, a nine. Oh, oh, didn't oh, come. But not that one. And so Madison will double up. It's not a huge double up, but it keeps him around, at least for a little bit longer. You know, it's actually close to a triple there because he picked up the undefended 10,000 in Betzel's line. So, yeah, Matisic has gone from below 20 to 44. And that makes Svelmo now the short stack. Well, a big, big hand for him. Vincent is now our chip leader. 25. See two races to twenty-five thousand. That's all with an eight-six. He's gotten away with a couple of these plays. Perfect race. Yeah, it was. Not else. Velmo's going to go all in. I was very happy when I saw you flip this one. When you flip two, I was happy. I think Betzel is going to be held to call here. I call. He caught me bluffing. 
Yeah. Yep. You You've been stealing all this time? This time. Well, you're going to have to tighten up now. That's of course, does have him covered, but this will change the complexion That's of the game. That's a hand. So 8-6 for Betzel, King-9 for Svelmo. Hand in the cookie jar. Svelmo picked a good time to move all in, but Betzel has two live cards. He's not that big of an underdog. Like that. Deuce, ace, and an eight for Betzel. Come on, king or nine. King or nine, I still could get there with a king or nine. Well, Svelmo told you what he needs. Here's another deuce. One card left. Got to be a king or a nine for Svelmo. King or nine. Yes. And it's not, and Svelmo is gone. And Betzel will be in a very good position here as he got away with one. There's no question about it, and he knows he got away with it, but of course he is going to take that. So Ed Betzel out of Fraser, Michigan, will very likely take over the chip lead. We'll find out when we come back to the Poker Dome.